as I said a few times on here, I've had my experience with people in life who I've kind of grown up in who um, lie a lot, right? And I think for whatever reason, people that lie about big things have a tendency to lie about really small things for no apparent reason. And they have a tendency to kind of embellish their lives and make them try and seem more fanciful and hero-like and um, admirable and, uh, I don't know, inspiring, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. But it's a weird convulsion. They have to always lie about the most insane things. But then Brendan has this weird thing that he does that even I can't understand fully. I don't really get too tough. Where he kind of creates these narratives in his head, narratives, as he says, right, about how he is as a person that go completely against everything that he's done prior, like not even prior, like 10 years ago, prior, like a couple of months ago, last week, yesterday, he would just say stuff. Like for one instance, I remember you used to say stuff like, Oh, I never eat on, I never eat on camera. I never eat on podcasts. And it's like a whole fucking show that he does. where he essentially chews food in his mouth open, like sticks his tongue out before he thinks he puts something in his mouth. He's on teeth at K eating stuff all the time, donuts and fucking you know um muffins stuff it doesn't matter really but he'll say like clearly i don't eat on shows and he'll look down on you if you do and start making some disparaging comments but he's done it himself um and many other countless examples right there's one i think he said something about oh i never wear track suits or sweatsuits and then he comes in the next week wearing a fucking full sweatsuit or something he says our oh, sweatsuits are not they're not professional it makes you look like you're not serious i can't take him on serious if they don't wear a sweatsuit and then he comes in next week with a fucking sweatsuit on it's fucking bizarre and then there was that like, lie that he started doing, copying the fucking Joe Diaz thing. Like, Joe Diaz has got this thing where he says he never works Sundays, right? Because he wants to stay with his family and he feels like comedians, they're always on the road too much and they should always have a day that they kind of carve out in the week to spend with their family because you need to keep your household in check. And it's kind of an old school way of thinking about things, but it's a pretty smart and wise thing to say. Some comedians listen to him, some don't because, you know, they love money and, you know, finger banging 21 year olds in fucking random clubs too much. But it's a kind of good thing to say. And for the longest time, when Brendan heard it, he decided to parry it as well. Like, I don't work Sunday, I don't work Sunday, I don't work Sundays, even though he's worked many Sundays prior. It's just fucking insane. Then he's got this thing, what this clip is talking about, where he sits down with this guy called Jelly, I think it's called Jelly Roll. I think he's a big um, country star or something, right? Musician. And I guess they're talking about being on tour and not being with their families and feeling guilty when you're a creative or you're an entertainer and you have to be on the road and you can't be with your family all the time and you can't see your kids grow up, blah, 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 blah. And somehow in this story, he then turns it into an opportunity to basically humble brag and also throw Bert under the bus by saying that he's a great dad because he can't stay away from his kids for too long. When we have countless of evidence that he doesn't do that at all, he does the complete opposite. But let's play the clip anyway so you can see what I'm talking about. It's like when yeah. you see Bert tomorrow, me and him were talking about it. When he, we, I was talking about how, I mean, it's a good thing and bad thing. Like, I can't leave my kids for more than three days. I get, yeah. I'm physically ill. I can't do it. And did you hear that, by the way? Another mispronunciation? What the fuck is physically? How hard is it pronounced physically? Physical. Physically. How hard is it pronounced that? Hear what you said. Kids for more than three days. I get, yeah. I'm physically ill. I can't do it. Huh? I can't leave my kids for more than three days. I get, yeah. I'm physically ill. I can't Insane. Anyway. can't do it. And Bert's like, man, I, I wish I was like that. He's like, like, I go on tour tomorrow on my tour bus. I'm gone for two months. No, I watch. And, I, and watch. I told him, I was like, here's the you know what's really unfair about this as well that he's throwing Bert under the bus I'm a big person to say that I don't like Bert as a kind of person who presents himself to be online right? I think he's a little bit annoying that whole adult frat boy thing pisses me off isn't it? but I'm also a big fan of his show and I used to listen to Bert Cast a lot really beforehand and then I got turned off by it but one thing about Bert that he's really good at is that he's incredibly too, probably to a fault he's incredibly self aware and also brutally honest with himself, like how he speaks about himself and his life and his life decisions and what he does and shit. He might kind of get himself in a twist and make up stories and be like, I haven't drunk in, in, in ages and you find that's only two days. But for the most part, he's pretty upfront and raw. And loads of times he'd always say whenever his kids were younger and he was really trying to come up and he was actually getting success and becoming a big star in terms of comedy. He always said he was felt really guilty that he was missing out on a lot of his kids' lives growing up because he's got two like teenage daughters who I think are born quite close together. 
So he missed out on a lot of them growing up. And plus them being girls, it's already hard to connect because he's a dude, you know, whatever it may be. So he already felt like, he felt kind of guilty about that. And he would always mention it a lot, but he'd also say that he loves comedy too much and he provides a fantastic life for his family. So it's a kind of like a give and take, right? I mean, I have to go on the road to earn this money, but also my family get to enjoy this amazing quality of life. I have this amazing partner. I forgot her name. Is it Kellyanne or something? Or Kelly, I've got her name, um, Bert's wife, but she's fucking funny as well and quite good banter as well. So they clearly work together in a good, you know, they have a good relationship and working environment and parenting style and whatnot. So they've made it work for each other. But he's still kind of admitting and says here now, even though they, I think he said he had, they have a good relationship now, him and his daughters, but he says he still feels really guilty that he wasn't there when they were younger. He missed out on loads of things when they were younger, but he kind of, you know, it's sort of like, what's that thing called? Um, it's like a Faustian bargain, whatever it may be called, right? He had to make a sacrifice. He had to sacrifice growing, you know, helping his kids grow up and being at baseball games, but he's provided them a great life. So he's honest about it so the fact that brendan's using it as an example is pretty shitty because he's basically saying i'm a better dad than him that's what he's basically saying i'm a better dad than bert because i physically cannot leave my kids for more than a month or whatever maybe which is a lie because this same guy during the height of covid the fucking height of covid the height of covid he was going on tour all the time. He ignored all the kind of um, naysayers and everyone in comedy saying he's a chill. He was going on tour all the time. He wouldn't stay away. There was a period in time, again, not to bring up any family stuff, there was a period of time where it looked like it, his wife may have had a miscarriage and the first thing he'd done was go on tour. He didn't stay with her. He was with the boys. Like He has done everything in his power to kind of get out of it in terms of hanging out with his family and being a family man. So this whole idea now that he's trying to flip it and change it into like, I'm a beast of a dad and I can't go anywhere is nonsense. Nonsense, in my opinion. Absolute nonsense. What's the difference, Bert? And I was like, I'm not knocking you as a dad. That's your path and you get it done. You're a great dad. I physically can't do it. So yeah. my age... What? Let's go run that back in. Physically can't do it. So yeah. my dad, I physically can't. I physically can't. I physically can't. I physically can't do it. So yeah. my... I physically can't. I physically. I physically. I physically. I physically can't do it. So yeah. my agent called me today. It was like, "Hey man, we got your international tour. You're gone for six months. It's whatever, ten million. I couldn't do it. That's because yeah. you're a good guy. I, I literally couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, come on. It's so gross, man. It's so gross. It's so gross. You, I think people said it. Like, oh, he has to make everyone feel below him. Like, great comment. Like. Why can't you just speak about how you parent, 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 whatever that word is, I'd look after your kids and just use the other person as an example. Like, this is the way he does it. I couldn't do it that way because this is just the way that I'm set up with my family and my kids are really young and I obviously seen what other comics have done. And I don't want to repeat the same mistakes, but it's not a mistake really. Everyone got their own decision. I don't know, whatever. It's find a way of doing it. But he set the story up so that he looks like the hero. So that his friend here on the left who he pays can be like, oh, you're a great dad, man. You're a great... Yeah, of course he's a great dad. He's paying you to sit on a podcast and fucking talk shit. Do you know what I mean? It's such an insane thing to say. And again, like I said, I'm not Burt Crash's biggest fan, but Burt Crash has always been honest about how shitty of a dad he thinks he is because of the time he spent on the road and shit. He's been brutally honest about it to, I think, a fault because he's put maybe his family's business out there or too much, whatever it may be. But he's tried to make amends. You know, they're probably, they're supposedly at a really good, supposedly, sorry, at a really good place now at the moment. They make it work with his wife, Leanne, bloody blah, blah, blah. So to use him as an example, to kind of flex that you're the better dad is fucking gross, especially when you've got evidence, countless evidence of this guy going on tour whenever he gets opportunity, running away from his house, making little jokes about how, oh, um, I do everything to get out of the house to tour and stuff, whatever it may be. And now suddenly now he's Mr. Family Man, Mr. Beast of a dad superman of a dad that can't leave his parents every time can't leave his fucking kids it's like come on brother like stop with the cap man it's just unnecessary as well it's, i don't know but again maybe it's just him it's just but you know what i wonder if he actually even knows he's lying maybe he just legitimately think he doesn't you know he doesn't think this a lie maybe